Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're going to be fixing some sliding closet doors. There's two types, those that hang from a headrail and those that roll on the bottom track. It doesn't matter, they're both fixed very easily, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. So this is a pretty big closet, and the problem we're having is this door here is crooked. You can see up at the top, it's touching the jam. But if you follow it all the way down, you got a big gap on the bottom. So this is adjusted in the back. Each side has rollers, one over there and one here. And there's two screws in here. And you can see this has a, a sweep here so you can adjust it and, and have this side of the door go up or down. So the question is, is do we want the left-hand side of the door to go up or down? Or the, right, or the right side. And so you can tell by moving the second door over here and finding out the level on them. And those are about perfect. So I would adjust this right side up, which is gonna close this gap here. And that means we have to take this, uh, the easiest way is to take the door off so you can get to the mounting hardware on the back. So that's what we'll do. So this door rides in a track on the top of the headrail. There's two sets of hardware, two sets of wheels that can be independently adjusted. We want to adjust this side, and the easiest way to get this door out is to swing the bottom of the door outwards to allow you to lift the wheels off of this lip. Otherwise, the lip is going to keep the wheels inside the track. So, watching your back, you pull the door out and lift the door off. And we're going to flip it around. And we're going to work on this side. So here's the hardware on that handle side that we're going to adjust. And you can see that this screw is pretty much stationary. But this screw sits in a slot which is going to allow you to adjust this up or down and make that whole door, the side of that door, move up or down. And so we want to make this door, uh, uh, this side of the door go up. So we're going to adjust this piece of hardware downwards. Not much, just a little bit. So we want to put it right about there. Right about there. We may have to tweak it a little bit. Okay, so I've got that screw tightened down about where I think it should be. I'm going to put the door back on now and uh, see how it comes out. I may have to take it off again and do it a couple times, so we'll get it perfect. Okay, so I've got the hinge adjusted. Now comes for the real pain in the rear end, and that is getting the door back in the groove uh, with one person. Certainly a lot easier with two people, but to do it one person, you've got to kind of straddle it, and uh, you can kind of tweak your back, so be careful doing this. Okay, I got the door back on and adjusted that all the way down and you can see the top looks good, the bottom looks good, but you know what's funny is look at the middle of the door. There's about an eighth of an inch gap in the middle, although the bottom and the top are both perfect. So either the door is warped, which I doubt, or the jam is, is uh, kind of bowed in the middle, which is more likely. Anyway, that's how you do it. It's pretty easy, it just takes a couple of minutes, and that's all there is to it. Okay, these are large mirrored doors. We're inside, so we're not seeing the mirrored. Uh, it also has a headrail, but the headrail acts only as a guide. The weight is put upon the hardware down here below, and it rolls along a track on the bottom. And so this is about opposite of the previous door we just had. The bottom is nice and tight, but if you go up here to the top, there's a lot of daylight. I can pretty much stick my finger through that. So uh, we either need to uh, drop this side or 
raise the height of this wheel, which will push the door back into position. I think I am going to raise the height of this side because they look like they're kind of tapped out uh, as far as adjustments. Okay, so here's my, my other uh, roller here. And it's always, whenever you're raising the height of, of this roller, it's always easier to lift up the door to take the, the weight off of it. Otherwise, you're gonna be fighting gravity the whole way too. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I'm getting closer. A little more. Okay, that's about as good as I'm going to get. And the reason I say that is that uh, there are tiny little bumpers in between here. I don't know if you can see that. Well, here's, here's one right here. There's a bumper there so it doesn't slam into the wall when you slam the door. But... Here's the adjustments. I can no longer stick my finger through there. So that looks pretty good. All right, so that's how you adjust a couple different types of sliding closet doors. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next time.